Right guys, Gafft is back with a deep dive video into Gaffer's non-magic magic wallet. This is not a what you would call magic wallet, but it is Gaffer's magic wallet because it's fantastic. It holds a lot of stuff. I looked for years to find a decent wallet and I found this in Spain about four years ago. So let's have a deep dive into Gaffer's wallet. First section we've got here. A simple double back playing card and um, this allows me to do a signed card to wallet effect just one simple double lift um, creates a miracle with a double backer here we have David Blaine stand at Monty um, I have been caught out before someone said that's not stand at Monty gaffer but this is what the, the, the trick I saw on a YouTube channel it said David Blaine stand at Monty it generally uses three cards. You have this in your pocket. Comes into play halfway through the trick, but that's a fantastic trick, and that is one of Gaffer's favourite go-to packet tricks. So that can go in there. If we open up this section, we've got some cards here, and um, this is oh, this is um, I hate David Copperfield. It's a great little packet trick. Just uses three cards. And what we're going to do is replace the seven of diamonds on the bottom. In fact, we'll just place the seven face up so you can see. And with a little rub, you can create a miracle because now it's melted through the bone card. You keep rubbing and it melts all the way through. And that just uses a seven of diamonds, a five of spades and an eight of spades. That's a fantastic little trick. Put that in there. This is... Oh, this is a ESP effect. You've got the plus, the box, the wavy lines, the circle and the star. Um, you guys have seen this trick, but shall I quickly show you? Yeah, why not? Um, these are my five cards. Spectator's going to get five cards. Um, I want the spectator to mix these cards up, but don't look at the faces just yet. And likewise, I'll mix up my cards. You won't look at the faces just yet. Now, I'm going to give you one of my cards. You can give me any one of yours. Now, I showed you the symbols. I didn't show you the faces of these cards because I didn't want your um, decision to be influenced by anything you saw. Now, the card you gave me, let's have a quick look, was the star. This is going to freak you out, but the card I gave you was also the star. And you know what? Had you have given me anything else, you would have found the Jokers. So that is a trick, guys. It's a fantastic little packet trick. Um, no sleight of hand involved in that trick. Fantastic reactions every time. So that can go in there. And um, if we open up this, we've got another sleeve. This is the origami card. Now I thought I'm gonna use a blank card, but I'm gonna get the spectator to sign the face of this card. And then I'm gonna turn it inside out in their hands. That's a fantastic little trick. Can't really show that without signing the card, but I don't want to sign it. Um, here we've got all the cards that will allow me to do monkey in the middle. When a signed card visibly appears between two cards from somewhere in the pack. Um, this is a photograph prediction. I can use Gaffer's um, switch wallet for that. That goes in there. Um, in here, these are two cards. These are face off, if you've ever seen that effect face off. These are a couple of cards. You do need to do something to create that effect, but they're ready to go. In this section, oh, if you're interested, we got some Gaft Academy stickers. Yes, start sticking them all over the place. Put those in there. And what you will find in Gaffer's wallet is absolutely no money. No money in this wallet. Oh, actually, I should tell a lie. In this pocket, I've got 2p, but this is a triple folding 2p. This could be coin to bottle, coin to impossible location, whatever you want to call it. Um, we've just got a couple of pieces of playing card, maybe for writing on. We've got a couple of pieces of paper with the 10 of clubs. This is a jack of spades reveal. A bit of heat from a lighter makes the ink disappear, and that's another one. Uh, we've got Gaffer's all time favorite. The auto rotation nut and bolt, the self winding nut and bolt. 
that goes in there. Um, oh, let's put these away. Right, we have a zippy pocket as well. Bloody hell, what you got in here, gaffer? Oh, I haven't got nothing in that one. That's another pocket I can fill then. Got anything in this one? Oh, yes. Gaffer's favourite coin trick. Um, coin unique. Um, this trick has fooled, I can't, countless amounts of people. You hand them a pound coin. They can examine this, they can hold this, they can do what they want with it. And an English penny. Um, you show the coins and you show your hand to be empty. And this hand to be empty. You take the pound and the penny and you place it on the mat. I place my hand over it and I give it a little wiggle like this. And I say to the spectator, um, just think of one of the coins for me. Um, let's say they think of the penny. Brilliant. What I'm going to do is attempt to vanish penny rub it away clean hands only leaving the pound and the penny is right here so that is coin unique guys it's a fantastic little trick um, you've got to be careful not to spend it and um, I have had a couple of coin tricks in the past and I've actually spent them because they are after all real money so that's a bit of a deep dive into gaffer's non-magic magic wallet um, if you guys have got a magic wallet, I'd love to see a video on it. So, uh, cheers.